Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day. <laughs> and today I'm going to do my favorites for 2016. And I thought about doing these a couple of different ways. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Her and Bubba were laying here on that bed that I made. I, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys don't get upset at the same thing over and over again. Okay, Chanel, can you play down there? Okay, um, but I thought about doing it, you know, I saw some people doing it going right down the line, saying their favorite primer or their favorite this, that. And there are some things I just didn't have a favorite. Or I'm not going to be redundant and mention the things that I already mentioned in my last video, which is the most surprising products of 2016. And so I will link that video down below because that is definitely some of my favorites. So I'm gonna get started and we're gonna go through this real quick. I'm gonna try not to do a really intense review on everything, but these are things that if I ran out of, I would just go get or order the next day. And they are things that made me happy. You know, some things just, you just like them and they just, you know, make you happy every time you wear it or use it. That's what I'm trying to tell you about. Okay, I am already forgetting one thing that I'm gonna get right now so I don't forget. Actually, two things, two things that I wanted to show you. And I could do a separate accessory um, favorites, but I think I'm just gonna throw a few things in here because I really love all my things. <laughs> and I try to, um, you know, wear different things all the time, but there are just some things that are just, I just can't quit using. And one of them is my, this is my Balenciaga City Bag. It's the one that um, Chanel has chewed my straps off of, and I do have extra straps. Thank you so much to all of you that were concerned about that, but I know if I put them on, she's just gonna chew those off too. But um, I love this bag. It is just so user-friendly. It goes with everything. I keep thinking I want to switch into one of my other ones because I have um, a blue uh, city bag and then I have a bigger, um, what is my other bag? I'm not sure what it's called, but I have a bigger green one that I bought off of the Real Real. But love that bag. It is just, it goes with everything. It goes casual, it goes dressy, it's user friendly, it's light. It's got a shoulder strap if you want it. I mean, it's just everything. So that is one of my favorites. And then Brooke and I were talking about yesterday, my key ring. I have this gold one for Bunny, my Volkswagen, or Brooks, actually, <laughs> she'll be getting it soon. And um, then I have a blue one, I think the ostrich blue for my other big car. And I could not do without these. These, for such a simple thing, I mean, I just, it's, I mean, especially if you're a mom and you're carrying around all that stuff or you're getting that carrier out, it is so nice to just take your keys and put them on your arm like that. And then, you know, if I'm just running in somewhere, I will, gosh, that reminds me of one other thing I really, really thought I should tell you. My Hobo wallet. You guys probably remember when I got this. I have tried to use so many other wallets. I tried to use Sheila wa Sheila's wallet. I tried to use another wallet that I had, an old Kate Spade wallet that I had that was like solid black that John bought me years ago. And I always just go back to this one. It is big, it has just spots for everything. Look at my, there's my tooth, um, like my flosses and my toothbrushes because I, tacky as it is, I do it in the movie theater. When we go see a movie, I just try to do it on the down low so I can put my Invisalign back in because I just can't go that long without them in. But, um, you know, money, all kinds of compartments, and I just love this thing. Okay, so that is definitely one of my favorites. I can't really imagine using another wallet now. Okay, and then this. Um, it's just awesome for so many reasons. That reason, um, it's light. You can always find it in your purse. It never gets lost. I mean, it's like, and like yesterday we were in Ulta, and... I was walking out the door and I can just quickly like look in my purse and I quickly saw that I didn't have my keys and I looked back on the counter and there they were. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. I will never 
I don't ever want to be without one. Okay. So let's start off with, I'm just going to kind of go left to right. Um, this is something I'm almost out of. I thought today, if I get a chance, Brooke is having exams now, and she doesn't have to be at school when her exam's over, so I'm picking her up early, so I don't know if I'll get a chance to go all the way out to the mall where our mat counter is. So I might just place an order, but um, I'm almost out of my brush cleaner. cleaner. This is my everyday brush cleaner. What I do is take a piece of paper towel, I get those select a size from Costco, I keep a roll in my garden tub <laughs> that I use for storage, and um, every day I just take a piece off, lay it on my counter right in front of my clear cube, sprinkle some of this on it. You don't need too much because you'll see it'll soak you know, into the paper towel. And, um, and then I put it back up, and after I use each brush, I just flick it across the paper towel and put it up. That way, the next time I go to use it, it's clean, clean enough to use. Now, it doesn't mean it, it doesn't deep clean it. I don't like scrub it, scrub it, because you wanna be, be nice to your brushes, but it's clean enough so that I can use it the next time. Um, so, love that. Okay, then another product that is, you know, also MAC and in that same category that I would definitely run and go get if I ran out of is the MAC Fix Plus. Now I have tried the Clinique spray, I've got the Evian water, I've got the, um, what is that one, Murad? Is it Murad that has the real nice one? I like all of those, but I, I do want to try the new Urban Decay one. But so far, I always go back to MAC Fix Plus. I just feel like it really does set my makeup, gives it that glow, and it, you know, when my face was real sensitive and I was going through my little, you know, glycolic issue and stuff, or anytime my face is burning, then I do use the water. But um, that, I have used so many, and see, both of these things are back to MAC. So when you save six empties, you get a free lipstick. Okay. Gosh, I've got several MAC things here. Okay, this is another foundation. This year I have found several good foundations. Um, I love that Clay de Peau, the Silky and the Cream. I love the new Urban Decay All Nighter. I love the new Clinique Silky. Um, what was, there was another one that was, um, the Dior Forever, like I really like all those. Lancome, you guys have been with me, you know which ones I've been using, but this is one that I used just day in and day out, and I really like, and it's just the basic uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I've got it on today, and I think it is a similar situation to the Armani and the Double Wear. I had to find my perfect shade, and I have always gotten MAC NC35. And I just thought, eh, you know, it was it never thrilled me. Well, this time the girl um, told me to get MAC NC37. And I think it's the, like the difference between the Giorgio Armani 5.5 and 6. This is kind of like a more of an olive tone, not as bright of a yellowy tone. It's more of a an olive, like a darker beige, yellowy beige color. And I like it. It's so just, loving that. Um, brush, foundation brush of the year, no doubt about it. I use this today. This is the Oval 8. Um, Tammy did get me the handheld one. I seem to prefer this one. But it's nice to have both because if one of them is dirty, I can use the other. Um, or, I don't know. Some of you might like the handheld one. I just am, it's probably because I'm just used to this one, but I love this brush. Especially if you like the Makeup Forever, or the um, Hourglass, or any of those stick, foundation sticks, this thing spreads it like nothing else. I mean, there's something about those bristles being so dense, and just, I mean, it just is, you can just whip it on in no time, and I like the way it carries stuff down your neck. Like, I always go down my neck after, and that way I'm not having to, I mean, with the Beauty Blender, you have to, you know, I don't know. This is quick and easy, and it, does a great job. Hey, I just opened the back door for Chanel. She was restless. So, um, okay, so here it is, La Mer powder. And there are so many that I like. I have tried so many powders this year, and some of them I might prefer over La Mer. Um, like if I want a little bit more coverage, then I might prefer the um, La Prairie that Tammy got me. It has 
just a little bit more coverage, and so does the Lancome Absolu. Um, the Laura Mercier, I know people love that. I've tried just all kinds, but if you told me I had to pick one powder, it would be the La Mer. I love it. It is just, um, I, I'm never scared that it's going to be too much. I'm never scared it's going to look too powdery. I'm never scared it's going to make my makeup look flat. And I'm so glad that I sprang for the La Mer powder brush to go with it. I love this thing. I just, um, I don't swirl, I just bounce the La Mer over my makeup and this brush is just perfect. I don't know what it is about it, it's just really, really nice. And I like having it to go with the La Mer powder. Then, I have all kinds of bronzers that I love, I have all kinds of contour palettes, highlights, everything, what I use the most of and what I would miss if it got missing is this. I mean, you can see how well loved this thing is. It is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. It has the most perfect, this is what I start with. I do a little bit of this on the jawline. That is a beautiful bronzer. These two are perfect if you wanna highlight down here or underneath your eyes. I didn't do that today. And then that is the perfect little shimmery highlight for the tops of your cheeks. It's just perfect. I love it and it's, it's just, you know, my it's my go-to. <laughs> and the brush that I love to use with it is this one. How many years has this been in my favorites? It is the Sedona Lace um, Angled Brush. Is it 850? Because I love all of my Sedona Lace brushes in this collection. This, um, is it called Midnight Symphony, maybe? This whole pink collection, there's a domed colored one or a domed shaped one that I love if I want to do a bigger bronzer, like a more natural. There's a big powder brush that I love. And then there is a foundation, like a Kabuki foundation brush that I used to, used to be my favorite until I got this. So these brushes I love and I am thankful for them. <laughs> okay, another brush that I have really enjoyed is this Wayne Goss. And I don't see a number, I think it might be that um, airbrush, the one that he had everyone help him name. I use this a lot for, like if I have already used this for contour and highlight, I will grab this one. Today I did it to put on my blush. It is a good one for this, and then you can blend it out. It's just soft, and I'll go ahead and show you this one too, a Wayne Goss brush. This is probably my favorite eye brush, and it is the six. It's the one that's like a uh, 217, but pinched. So you can use it kind of like as a flat brush, shader brush, or a blender brush. I love it. Louise Young brushes, which I don't think she sells at Nordstrom anymore. I think you have to order them off of her UK site, which I have done that and gotten them in probably, I think it takes about two weeks. Those are my most used brushes and the Wayne Goss brushes. I was thinking about makeup palettes and I've gotten several palettes this year and there are so many that I like. I like that Smashbox um, kind of nude type palette that I have. I love the Kevin Aquan palette. I love the um, new Tarte palette that I got. I love my Too Faced Natural Eye. I love the one with purple in it. There are so many that I like. So. If I, if I had to pick a palette, oh, I love that Kat Von D, the Shade and Light palette. So you guys know what palettes I like. So I decided just to pick a couple of single shadows that I have just really enjoyed this year. And one of them is the Burberry Almond. And this is what I have in my crease today. This is just easy peasy. Like today, I have on one shadow. I literally have on my Urban Decay Minor Sin and this in the crease, and that's it. So this has been just a winner. It blends out beautifully, it's awesome. And then this is a little um, Bobbi Brown palette, and I'll show you this out of it. This is Bobbi Brown Taupe. Definitely one of my favorites. It's right up there with, you know, it's like, an, it's like a darker Urban Decay Naked or you know, one of those colors, but when I use this, I usually always like my makeup. That's how I pretty much, you know, when I think, you know, during the day, later on in the day, and I look at a picture or a selfie, or I look in the mirror and I like how my makeup looks, 
I try to think, you know, remember, what did I use? And a lot of times it's that one. Okay, right. let's go with eyeliners. Um, you, I told you about the L'Oreal in my last video, so I thought I would show you the other ones that I have used the most this year. And that would be the Tardis double-ended liner. And this, the pencil end of the liner is fine. I like it okay, but I really, this, is the side of the liner that I like. I love this liner. If you like the Stila, um, any of those that have a harder tip, it's not a brushy tip like the Tom Ford or the um, Kat Von D, it's a like a stiffer tip, you will like this. I love it and they last forever. I have these two that Tarte sent me and they are still going strong. And so a lot of times what I like to do is use this one, which has been my favorite black liner to smudge. And so that's what I did today is I smudged, um, did a thick line, knowing I was gonna do a wing liner, but I'll do a thick line of this, take a Q-tip and just barely rub it against it and it smears, you know, or you know, blows out, smudges out real pretty. And I kind of take the Q-tip and wing it out a little bit. And then I go back with this one and just touch right there on the lash line and then do my wing. And it gives you a real pretty effect. It gets that real darkness at your eyes, gives you a pretty wing, but you still have like a smoky effect. And um, these are my favorites. Um, brows. I like so many brow products and every day I end up using something different. A lot of times I'll go back to MAC Charcoal Brown if I want a sharper eyebrow. Um, I've just started using Coquette, which is a cooler tone than that. Um, I like some pencils, it just depends, but the thing that I have been using a lot lately and I've used year after year is just my good old, and you can see how much I've used it. This is the Anastasia Brow in Medium Brown. And um, most of the time, I just you can see I just use the light side. Sometimes I'll use the dark side just on the tail end of my brow just to kind of finish it off. But I'm not a big brow person. I don't feel like they make, um, I don't feel like my brows are that great to make a big difference. So anyway, that's, that's what I use though. And then my favorite, favorite brow gel is the Clear Anastasia Brow Gel. Um, Oh gosh, they're logging behind my house, taking out all kinds of trees. And so if you hear something, that's what it is. Um, I opened the door so they could go out. Maybe I should go close it. Okay, I'll, let me go close it. Okay, it's, it's, it's kind of double loud because not only are they like logging and harvesting the trees, they are chipping them, put them in the, put them in the chipper and you'll see the big truck pull out with just a full thing of um, like mulch, but so it's loud. Concealer, oh goodness, I use all kinds of concealers depending on whether I'm doing the whole V thing, whether I want the brightness under my eyes, um, you know, whether I watch a tutorial and I want to use that one, I use them, I'm all over the place. But what I always come back to are these two products. And a lot of times it doesn't matter what concealer I use, I still use one of these. And they are the Prep and Prime MAC Radiant Rose, which is a this is a more pigmented, brighter version of this, which is the Dream Lumi in Radiant. And both of them are clicky pins, and this is what I like to use right there to get that brightness, right where I have that, um, you know, most of us do have that little divot right there. And these dry, you don't have to set them. They're just awesome. And they have that brightness to them, like that peachy pink type tone that is brightening. And I Favorite mascara, um, I think I spoke about the Chanel um, yesterday or in my last video. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Lash Mascara. This one is another one I know I'm gonna get just awesome results. It And it is a um, your typical wand. And I know a lot of you would like that. You know, CoverGirl Lash Blast is always gonna be in my drawer. It's a good basic. This one really does though give really good it clumps them in the perfect way it kind of groups your lashes so that you get a lot of impact and there's just the right amount on the brush but um anyway that's one of my favorites and to go along with that i've just raved on this for years i have tried um, the revita lash which tammy loves 
and I like I pro I don't know if I gave that enough time, but for some reason it was kind of irritating my eyelids. Um, I've used the Lilash, not Lilash, but Latisse, and that made my lashes crazy long, but it burnt my eyes. And a long time ago, the company sent me one of these, the new lash, and I've loved it ever since. And I think I actually, I've bought a couple, and then I think maybe they sent me this one, but um, I will just keep on repurchasing. Um, blush. I go all over the place with blushes, and I think all of us do. You know, sometimes we want a bright color, sometimes we want a nude. It just depends on the day and what we're into. But on a day-to-day -day basis, if I wanted to pick a an everyday blush, it would be this one. And it is Burberry Earthy. And it looks like the biggest nothing here in the palette, but it is a beautiful, it's like, if you like MAC Exposed, no, Tarte Exposed, if you like MAC Prism, if you like the Tarte, the one in the heart, baby blush or whatever, all of those that are more of a neutral tone, I think this is even better. To me, this gives me that really full cheek look. I don't know what it is about it. And not only do I like this one, but I love all of my Burberry blushes. I love the Tangerine. That is a beautiful peach. Um, there are several more that I like. And then honorable mention, the one I have on today is, I didn't bring it out here, but it's, oh, yes, I did. I brought it out. It is the um, Spring Rose in Gucci. Gucci blushes are beautiful. I've got this one and then I've got a pink one, but this Spring Rose, when I wear it, I get lots of compliments on my blush. I think it's a little bit more color than I'm used to wearing. Um, if you like NARS Orgasm or um, any of those, it's a peachy pink color, but the Gucci and the Burberry blushes are very, the same thing with um, Burberry lipsticks. They're all, it's like every tone is a a pretty version. Like, I think they could make a purple lipstick that would be pretty. You know, it's just wearable. Okay, lips. <laughs> that is a tough one because I love, oop, here's the UPS guy. Yay, I got a Colleen Rothschild box. I had um, texted her and told her that, you know, I was getting really into my skincare again, and I feel like Okay, I don't know where that cut off. But anyway, I had texted Colleen and I told her that I, I was getting really into skincare again and that I wanted to order some things to try again because I kind of feel bad because when she launched her skincare, um, you know, I did, I used all of it, but a lot of it Brooke and I used and I didn't pay attention. I didn't compare it to other things. I didn't pay attention to what it was doing, you know what I mean? I did. I feel like I didn't give it um, a fair shot. So, and I wanted to, there's just some things in here. I, one of them I'm getting ready to show you, a backup and stuff like that. So that was my box from Colleen. And, um, okay, so where were we? We were lips. Okay, without a doubt, we, Brooke and I call this, she'll actually say to me, where is the lips in a stick? <laughs> this is what we call lips in a stick. This gives you full lips. Um, it is the, Oh my goodness, they are like right behind my house. This is the Lancome Ideal. You guys know this is my favorite lip liner. It just depends on what tone, this goes with everything. I can't imagine any lipstick I couldn't wear this with. And sometimes I might start off with Pale Mauve from Lancome or Burberry Nude, I like that one. There are many more that I like, Lancome Bronzel, uh, Max Spice, just there's lots more that pout lipstick or I even like the Milani, but this is what I have in my purse. No matter what, I can bring this thing out and it goes with everything. So definitely my favorite lip liner. I'm gonna be kind of cruel with my lipstick and I thought about trying to find another one to tell you guys about, but they're just, this it has been the star of my year and you can't buy it anymore. And it is the Lancome, it's the ones that are in these little, um, I think it's Rouge and Love, but this was that limited edition um, 124M Peach Passion. The closest thing that I have found to this is the Too Faced, um, I'll put the link to it down there, that new um, Baby Lips stick that I told you guys about, but really nothing compares to this. Um, 
It's just the most beautiful peach lipstick and I wear it all the time and I was lucky enough to find some before it got discontinued and that is honestly my favorite lipstick of the year and my most used. Okay, and then um, for my accessories, probably my favorite earrings this year and I can't say um, that they're the most worn because if I had to say my most worn earrings would be my Sheila Fajal hoops. That's just what I go to. They're on my, they go with everything. They always look good. They're light and they're right there where I'm getting ready. But these are my next favorite. You guys have seen them too many times. You're probably sick of them. And there was something. Sheila gave me these earrings when we were, when I was at her house in May and she just, you know, gave them to me. These are some earrings that I used to make years ago. I just started making again. And it was like, I, they were magic. I love them. I don't know what there is about them. I love the shape. They're light. Um, these are the gunmetal. I love gunmetal stuff. And to go along with that, these are my other favorite earrings that have just made me so happy this year. And these are the Dean Davidson. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I know on his website it said triple threat, and I thought that was the name of them, but it's not. But I think that's just what he put to go with it. But they are just beautiful. And they go with one of my favorite rings of the year, which is the Plaza ring with the gunmetal and um, clear like moonstone. That ring is Bottega Veneta. I got it um, when I was in Los Angeles. And then this is another one of my favorite rings. It is the Sheila Fajal Bubbles ring. And um, so I have on the, all those today. I have on so much I didn't put a necklace on. And then last but not least, and that is what I just, one of the things I ordered is I do not even, you guys know I'm not a big, I am a big candle person as far as I love them. And I love, I've gotten the best gifts and I love, uh, I really do see the difference in a nice, nice candle. This candle is, it's the one from Colleen and it, it is the only one that has really like affected my mood. I can be so stressed out and when I, there is just something about this candle that just calms you. It's like when somebody, we've been watching Mad Men, so, you know, when they get stressed and they smoke a cigarette or that feeling of, you know, like if I get stressed, I can just smell this candle and it calms instantly. It is the best smell. It's not too spa and it's not too, it's not sweet. It is just the best smell. And the name of this one is, um, it's H-Y-G-G-E and I cannot remember how to pronounce that, but I'm going to look it up real quick. But it's pronounced Huga. I'm sure, I'm sure it's Huga. It's probably Huga. And um, roughly translated, it means the art of savoring life's simple pleasures. Evokes a feeling of time spent with loved ones, contentment, a cozy blanket, and the warm glow of candle. I, I don't know what it is. Even, I've had it on my desk, and even when I'm not burning it, I can smell it every once in a while, and it'll, like, I'll smell it, and it smells so good, I'll light it. So, I don't know, um, mine is doing that on the sides. I don't know if I'm trimming the wick too much, so I'm trying not to trim it that much. She also offers, like, a trim, like, a um, little kit that you use for these nice, really nice candles, and I use this as the stand, or it's a cover, too. So, um... Okay, and I just got a backup too because I love it that much and I want... Okay, I turned that overhead light on. I don't know if I should have done that the whole time. I'm always scared it's going to be overexposed and it's hard to tell in that little teeny viewfinder. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, Thursday, and the other day when I said it was so warm here, I didn't mean to rub it in. I know it's cold in other places. Um, we're just lucky that we've had some good weather and um, anyway, so I hope you're keeping warm and oh gosh I almost forgot when I was telling Colleen how much I loved her candle She is offering a code the candle is already on sale But she has given us a code for anything else on the website um, and um, Oh goodness um let me open my box real quick and tell you some of my favorite things. Okay, yay! I told her I wanted to try the Radiant Cleansing Balm because I told you, and hers comes with the um, cloth, like the exfoliating muslin cloth, the one that you have to be careful. And I've still got her one from last time, but this will be good to have two of them. 
but these exfoliate like crazy. exfoliate without a chemical you know what i mean you just manual you know and then this is her cleansing balm i used every bit of her last one and it never bothered my contacts and it never i love the scent so um brooke is using the it that i got oh i love it i love it's like her can i love all her scents that's what it is i just love all her scents so here is the cleansing balm and i think my friend melody champion um said that this is her favorite makeup remover so i got that um this i told her i was um the dual enzyme polish yay i told her i was really getting into my texture my skin's texture you know exfoliating and refining the texture and so this is the enzyme and i can remember this was awesome and it was a little bit more of a gentle um enzyme polish than the kate somerville i used the end of a kate somerville exfoliate the other day and it burnt me up which i realized there's a um a more gentle one that maybe I need to try. But here's her enzyme polish. And I don't know like what enzymes and all that stuff. I need to read about it. But I will tell you um, after I've used this stuff and can, you know, report back to you. Um, but I love it. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm trying it for the first time because I have a different, different. Um, oh, my goodness. Look what she sent me. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay. This is the wick trimmer oh my gosh this is what i need because when you get down see you go right in there and it trims the wick how awesome is that that is something i probably would have never bought just would have never thought about it and i am going to love that plus look how pretty it is just setting it out oh my goodness i'm so glad i opened this now i bet i know what this box is okay this is the snuffer. <laughs> Candle snuffer. Oh, that is awesome. Look, and look how it... And so this is how you put the candle out. So you don't have to blow down in there and blow the wax everywhere and everything else. That is so neat. You know what this reminds me of? When, um, when I was little, we went to a Lutheran church. I'm Lutheran. And my brother and I were the... Um, Crucifer and acolyte and he was the acolyte. He's the one that had to do this I carried the cross and put it up and then we sat up there and this brings back good memories of my family going to church I love that Okay, thank you Colleen and um, this must be the candle um, in this other box my Backup candle. I'm just gonna go ahead and start using both of them um, Do you guys have a pair of these kitchen scissors? I use these suckers for everything. They've been abused. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, the Mandelic Acid Serum. I was telling her how much I have enjoyed that. We're almost through the first bottle. I've been using this on Will. It is, I read that the Mandelic Acid Serum is good for blackheads because the Mandelic Acid is um, like a gentle acid and it doesn't penetrate as deep. So therefore it cleans out like the tops of your pores where you get those blackheads and everything. And um, so she sent me another one. Oh, love it. Um, okay, and then my backup candle. Yes, Oh, thank you, thank you. Love it. it. Comes in the nicest spots. Like if you're giving it as a gift, it's, her presentation is fabulous. And let's see, this is the Complete Eye Cream. I've told you many times, I love her eye cream. It's right up there. If you love the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, you will love this. It's even better. It's a little tiny bit thicker, I think. It has like more oomph to it. So thank you, Carlene, and I will, tell you guys what I think about all of these um, compared to other things. And um, so thank you for watching and thank you for being patient through all of this and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.